Uh, for me personally, it was uh, an unbelievable experience. Uh, in my opinion, that's why uh, I am where I am today. Um, you know, not everyone's ready to play professional hockey when they're 20 years old. Uh, so for me, going back to the CIS and you know playing in a league like that, where it's uh, you know the majority of the league is uh, ex WHL CHL players. Um, you know, the one it, it's really good hockey. The one year I think we had nine 30 goal scorers on forward who used to play in the WHL. So. Uh, you know, everyone's just a little bit older and stronger than they are in junior. So, uh, you know, in my opinion, although the guys are a little older, it's a great developmental league. And, you know, for me, I wasn't ready at the age of 20 to step into pro. So playing there for four years really helped me develop. And, you know, I'm here right now because of it. Uh, being an undrafted free agent, there are a couple of times maybe the difficulty, and that's, that's pretty rare, uh, in getting a shot here to be this close to the NHL. Uh, just your thoughts about that. Uh, it's definitely a humbling experience. Um, you know, I, I can't thank everyone enough at the University of Saskatchewan for helping me to get here. Uh, you know, my teammates, my coaches who, you know, believed in me and, and you know, played me, uh, you know, a fair amount to help me develop. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to take it all in stride. I, I realize how fortunate I am to be here. So, um, you know, for me, when I decided to go back to school rather than pursue pro, um, you know, I kind of told myself that, uh, you know, I'm not giving up yet and I'm going to try to take these four years to, to, you know, do whatever I can to keep continuing getting better. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping I did that. Well, I think, you know, coming in, like you said, as an undrafted, unsigned uh, free agent, uh, just on an AHL contract, um, you know, I knew I was going to have to earn everything, uh, you know, everything I got. And, uh, you know, that's something my agent talked about with me right away. And, um, you know, coming in here, I just wanted to earn the coach's trust. I think at the start of the year, um, you know, I set a goal that uh, I wanted them to trust me and want to become an everyday player. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping I've done that. And, um, you know, I've worked pretty hard at it, but the coaches have, you know, been right there with me, helping me along the way. And, you know, they've been giving me the opportunities. And, you know, I'm just trying to take advantage of them. I know you were born in uh, Saskatoon. Tell me about just kind of being growing up there and what it was like. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm one of the very few people who can say I've played my entire career uh, up until this year in my hometown. Um, you know, I played all, all my minor, all my midget hockey in Saskatoon. I was fortunate enough to play for the Saskatoon play, Blades in the WHL and then uh, the U of S Huskies uh, at the CIS level. So, uh, you know, I really didn't leave till, uh, till last year when I got called up for playoffs. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a small community. Um, you know, there's only a couple hundred thousand people there that, you know, although it's, it's, it's an okay size by Canadian standards, um, it's got that small community feel. And, uh, you know, the whole city of Saskatoon has supported me the, the entire way through my, uh, my hockey career. And, um, you know, I really saw that last year at the, the University Nationals that were hosted uh, in Saskatchewan. We were the host team. And, uh, you know, playing in front of a sold-out building, uh, you know, 12 to 14,000 people every night. And uh, the city really rallied around us. And, uh, you know, when I got the call up, they continued to support me. So it's been, uh, it's been a fun ex experience, and I'm very proud to be from Saskatoon. Uh, you know, everyone kind of understands it. Uh, you know, everyone kind of jokes around about which one of the three leagues in the Canadian Hockey League is better. But, uh, you know, having a lot of guys from the WHL, it's nice. Uh, you know, you've either played with them or against them for the most part. And, um, you know, they know what, what it's like going through uh, the long bus trips, you know, the grind that is the, uh, the WHL season. So, um, you know, it's nice knowing a few of the guys here uh, at the start of the year. But, you know, we've really started to come together as a group. So, you know, it doesn't matter anyone's background. We're, we're really starting to come together as a team. You know, I think that's every kid who ever strapped on a pair of skates dreamed to, to play in the NHL. So, um, you know, for me, going to Dallas Stars uh, camp this year was was a, a treat in its own. It was a really, you know, unbelievable experience for me going from, uh, you know, some of the rinks that I played in at the CIS level with, you know, maybe 50 to 100 fans a night to, you know, playing in that NHL exhibition game. That was a, a pretty amazing experience for me. And it, you know, it just kind of fuels my fire and, uh, and keeps the drive going to, you know, hopefully make it there someday. As someone who has a son who likes to play hockey, give me your thoughts about fathers and, and mothers out there who have kids who want to play hockey. What would you tell them, especially in a state like Texas, where it's maybe a little bit more difficult to find ice and things like that? Uh, you know, whatever, whatever the kid's interested in, go for it. I mean, for me, um, you know, a lot of my best friends, a lot of my fondest memories are, are on the hockey rink and, and at the hockey rink. And, you know, right from, uh, from a young age, my parents have been very, very supportive of me. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my mom when I was 17 years old, but she was, you know, my number one fan. She was, uh, you know, everything uh, a hockey mom 
kind of depicts. So, um, you know, it's always nice trying to, you know, work hard and, and do it for her because, you know, both my parents, you know, my whole life, they, uh, they've always been there supporting me, driving me to the rink at 6 in the morning like, like you do in Canada. Um, you know, building backyard rinks for me and things like that uh, not only help me have fun with it, but, uh, you know, to, to better me as well as a hockey player. Uh, that was a that was a pretty special night for me. I was coming off, uh, you know, a pretty good national championship tournament, and uh, you know I wanted to kind of you know stick to my guns and try play the same way that that I did there, and uh, you know making it even more of a special night. It was the seven year anniversary of my my mom's passing, so I uh, kind of had the feeling that I had someone out there watching watching over me that game, and you know I just uh, I think it was Ranford made made an unbelievable play that night, and you know I was just fortunate to be there and be able to put it in on my first shot. Definitely. I mean, if you look at the group of guys we got, uh, you know, there's a few changes, but, you know, we got a lot of the core group back. And, um, you know, that's that's the funny thing about the AHL is uh, what I've learned is that any team can beat any team on any given night. doesn't matter where you are in the standings. Um, you know, Chicago, for example, they're a very good team. They're ahead of us in the standings. And, um, you know, you got to take advantage of the games you have at home against divisional uh, divisional rivals, especially teams you're chasing. So, you know, I definitely think we got the, the team to do it. we got a great group of guys in there. And, you know, hopefully we're just going to keep moving forward.